Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. I am back today with a pretty good Dollar Tree haul here for you guys. We, me and hubby just got home a little bit ago. I just brought everything up here to the third floor and thought I would just pump out these videos for you. So I found some pretty cool things this trip. You may see me in this same outfit for the next probably three or four videos if I don't feel like going downstairs and changing. So anyway, I'm gonna start like I always do with what was in my thumbnail. Have you guys seen these? Hubby found these. I had no idea that they were at the store, in the store. And yes, this is Dollar Tree, guys. These are the Hershey's Colliders. They say chopped, so that must be the little chocolate pieces on the top. Mint flavored dessert with dark chocolate pieces. And these were in the refrigerator section and you get two little desserts in there. Let me see if I can find an expiration date. The expiration date is December 20th of 21. So we'll have to eat those pretty soon, which I don't have a problem with that. They just look very good. I love mint chocolate, so, so good. And you, this, you do have to keep these refrigerated. I actually have a freezer bag here with, a, um, with an ice pack in it to keep them chilled down while I'm doing these videos. And then the other ones are the York Colliders. It says layered peppermint flavored dessert with rich dark chocolate topping. Hmm. So one is mint flavored dessert with dark chocolate and one is peppermint flavored with dark chocolate. So I am really curious to, to give these a try. These are the only flavors that he saw, so I don't know if there are others. And the expiration date on the York is January 14th of 22. So we have a little bit longer for the York than we do the Hershey's. But I think those look delicious. I can't wait to try those. I love puddings and that type of thing. Hubby, not so much. He's not a big pudding fan. And speaking of puddings, I bought some more of the Jello. I couldn't pass these up. I did not find chocolate again, so I don't know if it's just my stores around here. If you guys know if there's chocolate pudding, let me know in the Jello brand. But this is the pistachio, no artificial sweeteners, no high fructose corn syrup and it's four half cup servings, so you'd get like two cups of pudding out of this. Typical Jell-O pudding size boxes. These are a full size box. I got one of the pistachio, one of the vanilla, and one of the banana cream. And they were really stocked with all of these. But I didn't see much actual Jell-O, the gelatin. Quite a bit of food stuff in here. Hubby picked up one of the Pillsbury traditional chocolate cakes, the box cakes. He has this in mind for something that he's going to be doing. Not sure if you will have seen it by the time I show this haul, but these are so good. The Pillsbury cake mixes are delicious. We buy these all the time, but I didn't have any on stock here on the shelf for him to use. So he's going to be doing something with that. I picked up a thing of the Schweppes ginger ale for the holidays, just one. Do you guys know, do they ever have the name brand root beer in the stores in the, what is this, one and a half liter? It's 1.25 liter. Do they ever have root beer in this size bottle? I see the smaller bottles of root beer, but what about the bigger bottles? They have the big, is it Stars and Stripes? They have that brand of root beer, but I've never seen this line, like I guess this is like made by Pepsi. Who does make this? It's Schweppes. Who is it? It is under Dr. Pepper 7-Up Incorporated. And I've never seen 7-Up either. But I did grab one of the ginger ale. Need to start stocking up for the holidays of different things. I picked up a pack of these. This is going as a gift. Some of the little people in my life absolutely love these peppermint sticks. They love putting them in their hot chocolate. They love eating them just straight like this as a little peppermint. So 
We buy these all the time when we see them. And this is by the Bob's brand, Sweet Stripes Soft Peppermint Candy Sticks. And it says all natural peppermint and it's a five ounce little package of the just short little peppermint sticks. These are so, so good. And these are good till June of 24. Excellent shelf life on that. Throw that in the candy drawer and you know, two and a half years from now, they're still gonna be good for you. I bought a thing of the, is it Eileen's? Aileen's, Aileen's tacky glue. This is actually, it's a three ounce bottle. This is gonna be going to the two oldest grand ladies for all those little craft things that I had bought. The, um, the little finger puppets felt, made out of felt, all those. I don't think those kits came with a little tube of glue and I figured I'd pick up this because this is a really good glue for that type of thing. So I thought I would pick this up and give that to them to use with that stuff. Um, let me see. I bought a couple more of these little packs of lights. The mult these are the multicolor, and they do have solid white as well. But I wanted the multicolor. You get 20 lights on a strand. I showed it in one of my past past haul videos. I actually plugged one in. These are very nice. These are not the battery operated. These are the plug-in, and the colors on these are really nice. They are bright. They're vibrant. And I was very impressed. It's the first time that I've ever bought these. I buy the fairy lights, the little battery operated lights all the time, but I've never bought a set of their plug-in. And for what I need it for, I don't need big long strands of lights. So these will be perfect for me. And these are, these are UL certified and it's five feet long, 20, 20 little lights on there and the wire is green. So I did pick up a few more boxes of these. I needed new batteries for my my good camera has a remote for it and I needed new batteries and didn't realize they actually had the size I needed at the Dollar Tree. I'd have probably spent six dollars or five dollars, six dollars for a pack of two batteries at you know at the grocery store and I saw them at the Dollar Tree so I picked them up and these are just by e-circuit the lith lithium these are the button batteries and it is in the CR2025. So this is gonna go in my, in my camera case. And this actually has a best by date too and it's January of 24. So I picked up some of those. You can find almost anything you need at the Dollar Tree. I never thought they'd have my size batteries, but they do, that's amazing. Needed some big black garbage bags. These work well for us. This is the Good Sense, made in the USA. And it is, they say large garbage bags, you get seven, and they're the 30 gallon size, and you get seven bags in here. We use more of the white garbage bags, not the black, but these are really nice to have on hand. So I did pick up two boxes, I'm only gonna show you one. But these work well for us. So I was out, so grabbed two boxes of those. I got a big bin, bucket, what do they call this? They call it a bucket. It has little handles on the side. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so sorry. Nice size, but what I'm gonna use this for is I do my empties review videos. I throw all my empties in one of those big bags. I'm gonna use this from now on. It has handles, easy to carry. They had it in all different colors. They had it in a, like a burnt orange, a, a blue, a royal blue color. I can't even remember all the colors they had, but I saw white, so I grabbed the white one. And it's very, very dirty in there. They were stocking up. They had a whole big row, of an aisle, whatever you wanna call it. You can tell they're kind of leaning now toward January when everybody starts cleaning out closets and organizing and all of that. They had a whole section, long section of all this kind of stuff. All I don't know if they've just pulled it out of the back room or what, but just stuff to organize. So I saw these and you know, and they're really nice. They're they're way sturdier than what I thought they would be. So that's what this is gonna be used for, is just to put all my empty packages and things in. That's it guys, that's it for this haul. I think it seemed like it should have been more, but it's not. So anyway, this is a pretty short video for me about 10 minutes, not too bad. 
So anyway, guys, if you like this type of video, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day, and I'm going to talk to you again here real soon. Peace.